All right, this is a video about how to use your Roland SPDS as a MIDI controller to control uh, software such as Ableton Live. And the first thing you're going to need is a MIDI to USB cable. If you look right here on the back of the SPDS, it has uh, a, a spot for MIDI in and MIDI out. That's what the cable looks like and that's kind of a self-explanatory you hook that up uh, let me get that back in there okay you hook that up and this cable goes over here it's got this little handy dandy set of lights and it tells me right now that the midi in is working and it goes to the usb to the computer and whenever you plug your cable in to the back of your spds and you plug it into the computer. You're then going to go to, let me get out of here and show you. You go to Live, go to Preferences, and Control Surface, none, but you go to Input, and it should have a spot for USB MIDI 1x1 one one, port 1, and the output is also the same thing. And Track On, Remote On, uh, Sync is off. So when I first did this, I did not get any signal um, on my computer. I couldn't figure out what was going on, couldn't get anything to work. Um, and then my good friend Kyle Lent told me I needed to download a driver for the M-Audio uh, MIDI Sport USB to MIDI cable. So I did a quick Google search for M-Audio uh, MIDI driver and it brought me to their website. I downloaded it and now you can tell that it works because whenever I hit my pad you see that little light blinking? That means that it is getting signal. And that's the quick version of how to get your SPDS hooked up. I'll do some more videos for how I use it. 